for us here in the country area, we, it's the only pub we have. We're a small rural community. So this service now has meant to the lifeline, not just for the old. You have to remember the young people take a drink as well. We find the pub is the centre of the whole place. You know, before the pub was here, we had nothing. It's the last link for socialising is Kalani Country Club in this area. So we as publicans, we decided to try and stay in the trade. And we tried to come up with different ideas to keep the doors open. And uh, we came up with this idea of social spin. Uh, we went along and we decided we'd buy a car, we'd see what where it works. And uh, then we went to the local community and we have 42 drivers, voluntary drivers, 37 men, five women, and um, it's going well. It, it wasn't a choice we had. It was do or die. My, my, my business had gone away down. And this would be a vibrant pub. It would be a good pub. We have a, a dedicated mobile number for the care. You can ring the care from 6.30 in the evening until, um, until 11 o'clock at night, half 10 roughly at night. And there's somebody there to answer the phone for, uh, for, for them hours. There are approximately 30, 31 drivers here. So you drive one night in the, in the month and uh, you pick up the car, quarter of six most evenings, and you finish when the last one is taken home. And you won't be driving again then until the next month. Rural pubs are facing a lot of challenges, uh, whether it be from uh, lack of jobs in rural areas, whether it be from uh, lack of uh, broadband in rural areas. Uh, but the other thing that has significantly impacted in the current year is the effect of the new drink driving laws. And this is having an impact not just on the rural pubs, but also on rural communities, where the capacity to socialise, uh, to mix with the neighbours, etc., has been significantly diminished. Well, for us, you know, we were very happy to support social spend and to support the VFI uh, initiative because it, um, it seemed like a, a brilliant uh, local initiative, very genuine, something that stems from the community. Uh, to help the community and it's something that has always been at the core of what Diageo is doing, what Guinness is doing, which is helping thriving community to build and to grow uh, and to, to get better. And so if we can bring people to the pub, uh, which is the, the hub of the social life, and prevent them from drinking and driving, it's, it's brilliant. We're responsible people, publicans are responsible people. We're doing our best, we're trying to make sure that people are able to come out and enjoy themselves and get a safe way home. Uh, since social spin was introduced, the car is on the road every night and uh, the numbers are very healthy. We would, uh, if we'd average, of an average, we take approximately 80 people to and from the pub on a weekly basis. I think for a rural pub, that is fantastic. It's basically, in essence, a community looking out for their own. So it's people driving people they know and people, you know, being driven by their neighbours. And so there is a real sense of, um, yeah, community, conviviality and, and the fact that you know, you know your own and you take care of your own and I think that's what's so important. We find the pub is the centre of the whole place. It's, if we have meetings, they're on here. You know, if we have fundraisers, they're on here. So it's, it's great. The, the pub is, you know, it's, it's really important. The, the, we found, you know, before the pub was here, we had nothing. This service is free of charge. But if somebody wants to give a voluntary do donation, the max that's allowed, they're allowed to give is five euros. And that five years will take up to four people to and from the, the pub home. The, re the reaction is absolutely super. It has made it, it's, taught, it's lifted everything in the village uh, and the surrounding areas. Everybody is so positive. Uh, they know now if they come for a pint that they need to go home after the pint. They can have three or four pints and make their way home safely after that. This is about socialising, interacting with the local community. And if we can achieve that people who is drinking at home. If you can encourage them to come and drink in their local pub where, where to be controlled, then social spin to me would be a massive success. It is a lifeline, not just for the old. You have to remember the young people take a drink as well. And they can't drive either when they have a few drinks taken. So it's, you have young married people there and on a Saturday night, they'll come out here, uh, take their social spin, and they're back home again anytime they want to. 
I think the message is that uh, rural communities are crying out for solutions. Uh, they are crying out for initiatives. They are crying out for support. What they're not getting from government are any of those at the minute, except what they're getting is a, lo a lot of loose talk. But we would hope that when this, these pilots are concluded, that we will have a blueprint to present to government and say, look, this is a blueprint not that can work, but this is a blueprint that does work, that has worked. These are the incentives that are required, and we would hope that at that stage that we would have a government that might listen.